What's going on guys? My name's Liam and welcome to a brand new game called Starbound. And I'm going to say it right here, right now, this game is incredible. I've already played it a bit, well a tiny bit, I've, um, I've loaded up like halfway through the tutorial. And wow, um, I can't remember being this excited about a game since Minecraft launched. And I honestly, I'm already addicted to it and I'm just going to get straight into the let's play here. This is called Starbound, you can find it on Steam if you want to buy it. And it really is incredible, you can see I've already got two carrots here. They didn't get really too far into them. I pretty much just realised, wow, this game's incredible, and I want to record it now. So straight off the bat, you've got character creation here. And it can be a whole bunch of races. We can be Apex, Avian, Human, um, Glitch, Hypoltis, and Florin. Um, let's be, let's have a look here. Let's be, let's be Glitch. I've not been a Glitch yet. So we can uh, customise our character here. Let's be purple, because why not? Um, we've got some strange Glitch heads here. This looks kind of cool. Oh, let's be like Bender from a future armor. That could be kind of cool. Um, personalities, I think, are always kind of funny to see. That one's brilliant. Um, but yeah, you can really just customize your character how you want. It's a, it's a very cool feature. And uh, now, it's very early, so you can't actually name your character yet. You can only randomize the names. But some of these names are pretty awesome. Um, let's see if we can find one. MC Knight. You know, we're, we're Minecraft players, so let's call ourselves MC Knight. Why not? And now we're going to pick MC Knight here, and we're going to load up our world. Now, it's going to load us immediately into... Well, not immediately. It's uh, it's going to load us slowly into the tutorial. The world's just going to load around us, and it's pretty much going to give us a step-to-step -step guide of what we need to do in our world. You can see here we're about to load into our ship, and we get a new quest. It's one of the few glitch to achieve self-awareness you were forced to flee from your home with little preparation. Your ship has run out of fuel in orbit of an unknown planet. Before setting out in search of fuel, search your ship's storage for a matter manipulator. Press E to interact with objects. So the keys are kind of strange and you can't actually uh, alter them yet. Uh, but we have E here and we need to check our ship's storage which is this here. And we need to look for this, the matter manipulator. Um, you'll get, you guys will see how handy this comes in later. It's, um, it's pretty good, so let's just grab everything we can, because we'll be staying on this uh, this planet below us for a while here. You can see our ship just beneath us. Quest complete. Uh, uh, you can see our ship here, and it's stuck in orbit of this planet. Well done, the matter manipulator allows you to manipulate almost anything in the game world, so that's pretty awesome. Um, it's time to search the planet for fuel. To survive down there, you'll need tools. To produce tools, you'll need to make yourself a crafting table. Um, okay, so we need to get down there and use a crafting table, and this is just the rest of our ship here. This is our little cockpit place, but uh, we need to go over to our teleportation place and um, get launched down to the planet underneath us. Here we go. Um, so this is an unknown planet here, and it's looking pretty awesome. Now, the way you want to start the tutorial, as it suggested, is you need to use the matter manipulator to chop down this tree here, and look how cool, when we finally chop this tree down, look how cool this uh, animation is comes it's really really cool it's a uh, it's a lot different to minecraft let me tell you now immediately off the bat you'll notice it's very similar to rep 2 terraria um and don't get me wrong it's nothing at all like terraria this game uh if you want testament to that i was a i really didn't like terraria it just wasn't my type of game however i'm i'm already addicted to this game i absolutely love it is this guy gonna kill us no he's cool you can tell which enemies are violent by the way when the uh, sound changes this guy, for example, is going to try and kill us. And we can't do anything about it. Let's try and jump over in there. Okay, this was a bad idea. But if you run away, you can pretty much just get away from any creature, which is all okay. So, we need to get crafting our crafting table. And so that we open up our crafting with C. Um, and then we create some wood planks here. Um, it does take a while to get used to the whole new buttons, it's it's different to Minecraft, which I'm sure many of you guys actually play. Um, but you do get used to it very quickly. So, what do we need for a wooden crafting tape? We need some more planks, so let's make a few more. Um, there we go. And now we go over to our tool section, the crafting section, and we can make a wooden crafting table. So let's do that. Quest complete, we've just made our crafting table, which is awesome. Um, so using the new crafting table, we'll be able to access to a right, wide new range of recipes, which is pretty cool. And now we need to make a bow to get some food. So let's try that. But first, we need to place down our crafting table. So let's do that as soon as we can. 
having some troubles here placing this guy down. There we go. So can we make a... What do we need for a bow again? I forget. We need plant fiber. So let's go ahead and make plant... Uh, find some plant fiber. Um, it's just a little... This stuff here is plant fiber, so we can use this. But we need to be careful of that guy down there. It's actually, that's that's the friendly guy, isn't it? So we should be okay. Um, even if we're not, we can, we're fast and we can run away, so that's okay. But let's go ahead and grab this plant fiber so we can make a bow. Um, any any time now will do. <laughs> there we go. Let's grab that. Get away from there just in case he was a, an enemy. Um, but yeah, you can tell enemies through different sounds in the game. And the sounds in this game sound amazing. Okay. I should really have my sword out. I don't know why I don't. There's something under there as well. Okay, let me put my sword in the bar here. Now we can actually go take on these guys. That was stupid me before not having it. And you do, you do get the sword from the ship, so that's okay. And most enemies are fairly easy to handle as well. So that's fine. Um, so you get the sword from the ship. Nothing too drastic there. These guys are friendly, so that's okay. And now we need to go ahead and make a bow. Um, and we make the bow through the tool section here. Let's craft ourselves a bow. Perfect, and now we need to kill these guys, unfortunately, because they'll drop some nice food for us. Okay, we have to kill them with a the hunting bow, because that's the only way we can get their meat. We can't kill them with a sword, and I suck with a bow. Okay. No, I suck at this game. This isn't good. There's no way I'm dying on the tutorial. Okay, so that did not go well. Um, let's try again and snipe this guy. Choose our sword here. Okay, we managed to take him out. Okay, we finally got him. Now let's go grab his food. Sorry, so intense here. Let me take out this dude. Okay. Let me try and just get one shot in there. Okay, there we go. He didn't drop any food though, which is interesting. Looks like we need to go and find some more guys at will. Um. Well, um, that is how you die in the game, guys, so if you're wondering about that, um, that is a, that's a fun little way to die. So at least I get to show you guys the dying screen, I guess. Um, this is, in fact, the second time I've died in this game, so I I'm not the best, I must admit. But hey, I'm, I'm as new to it as you guys are, so hopefully you guys can forgive me for that. Now, when we die, we do keep all our items, and uh, so that that's interesting. I'm not sure that's just a beta thing. But uh, yeah, we do manage to keep all our items when we die, which is a... Uh... Okay, let's try and kill you this time. The hitboxes are kind of strange, I've noticed. I'm not trying to blame my uh, awfulness with the bow on hitboxes, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's all down to my awfulness. And we are having trouble finding food here, I've noticed, and I really don't know why. It was my impression that if you killed a uh, a passive animal with a hunting bow, you get food from it. But apparently that isn't the case. Maybe we kill you. Okay, I don't want to die twice though, that would not be a good thing. 
Oh, there we go. We got some food. Perfect. Okay. So it must just be a random drop chance. That's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and cook up this food. If we can find our previous base, that'd be nice. Here we go. So what we need to do now is make a campfire. And to make a campfire, we just needed um, just, just wood, normal wood. So let's go ahead and place this down so we can cook our food up. Let's place it here. Let's press E to interact with it. And then we can grab the raw alien meat, place it in here, and then cook. And then from there, we can just do that. And we've completed that quest. Um, if you're a vegetarian, toss it away and start planting crops. So now we need to make a furnace. And to make a furnace, we need some cobblestone. Once again, we really just need to use the uh, matter manipulator to get this cobble. Cobble's very easy to get. Uh, here it is right here. Nothing too much to it, just use the matter manipulator. Hold down your left mouse button. And um, yeah, this is this is how you get it. It's really, really very simple. So as I said, you really do just get used to the different controls and the different movements and the different things you need to do. It's um, it, it's it's not that difficult. Eventually, like any game, you just get used to it. I did find myself struggling at the start. You know, I was trying to use all the Minecraft keys, um, but the fact that they don't give you a chance to re re uh, combine keys to a uh, different m movements is a uh, actually quite light because it means that you are forced to just use the keys that they provided and eventually you will find out that these keys are really the best like you get used to crafting with C and you get used to opening your inventory with I and things like that it's a, it's, it's really very easy but if you guys do have any questions about how the game works or if you have any troubles with the game um, let me know and uh, I'll try and help you as best I can now we need to make we need to cut down another tree actually so we can make another campfire because we need the campfire to make another furnace. So that's how that works. Taking a quick drink there, excuse me. And um, yeah, so we're just cutting down this tree. I love the tree felling animation. It looks just too awesome. Look at that. Um, and there's no lag when you cut it down at all. It's absolutely brilliant. It really is. So let's see here. Let's try and uh, make a campfire and then we need to make a furnace if we can find one is it in tools I think it should be in tools let me look here stone furnace we need okay we need more cobblestone actually so let's go ahead and make that actually I know what we can do we can actually make a pick to make things go a bit a bit quicker let's make a stone pickaxe this will definitely be in tools um, stone pickaxe Need more wooden planks, so let's do that. And let's make some more wooden planks, and then make a stone pickaxe. Perfect, and then we can do this. Make a stone pickaxe, and watch how much quicker the stone pickaxe is to everything else to the mass manipulator. It's crazy fast. Um, let me get rid of these tomatoes here. Just watch how quickly this uh, cuts through this stone compared to the mass manipulator. It's pretty crazy. And you can, uh, you can actually cut more than just like three blocks at a time as well, which is nice. So obviously we're getting through this quite fast. We should have a furnace in pretty much no time. Um, and obviously you've got all the tools you'll need. You've got spades, axes, pickaxes. It's very the, the generic Minecraft tools, as I like to call them. Um, so yeah, you'll get, you'll get used to making all these new tools and things. Um, just as you get used to it in any new game. It's, it's really easy and it's really fun. It's really addictive, guys. And as I said, I, I can't remember being this excited and this addicted to a game since... Uh, where were we looking now? Stone Furnace, there we go. Yeah, I can't remember being this addicted to a game uh, since Minecraft. I, I really can't. It's, uh, it's quite crazy. So let's go ahead and use I to get the furnace so we can put it down here. And let's place the furnace down. There we go. And now we need to go find some iron to put in the furnace. So let's go find that. It's um oh, it's becoming night time as well. So let's actually head this way. Um hopefully you guys can see this alright. The, the campfire gives some off some light, which is nice. But what I'm gonna do is place some torches and slot nine there. Um and I actually had the probably the biggest thing I had trouble with at the start was um finding how to put things on the hot bar. And you just literally just drag them over to the hotbar. It's very simple. So this right here is iron. Um, it, you'll just find it in the ground. It's pretty easy to locate. You know, 
Oh no, it's copper, excuse me. That's my bad. Um, this is actually copper. Um, and yeah, it's just the same as any ore. Now that's iron. That's a really nice vein of iron as well. Um, so let's go ahead and grab that. So that we can uh, finish this bit of the quest. I'm pretty sure this is iron anyway. There we go, iron ore, perfect. And um, this is the furthest I've got in the game so far, guys. So the rest of it is now pretty much new to me. As I said, I only played a very small amount of this game so far. Loved all of it. But uh, yeah, this is as far as I've got so far. And, uh, we really need to... The durability as well. I'm not sure about the durability on tools because it doesn't seem to go down. This is the first beta release there is, so it's pretty much beta 1.0. Um, so I'm sure they'll be adding durability to items later on. He looks like Charmander. He's got the face of Charmander, don't you guys think? Um, but yeah, let's head back and cook up this iron. So yeah, I'm not sure about durability. I, I know this is only beta 1.0, so obviously they'll be adding in features left, right and center as soon as they start updating stuff. And I know that they're really heavy on updating. I, I, to be honest, I'm, I think it's developed by a group called Chucklefish, um, maybe. Um, sorry if I'm, I'm wrong on that. But um, Okay, so this is just smelting by itself now, which is okay. So yeah, I, I know that uh, the group that has created Starbound has been tweeting out like crazy. They really have. Um, and so yeah, they will be updating the game left, right and centre. Good job, you'll need a whole bunch of iron bars to craft an anvil. Your ship's engine isn't strong enough to take you beyond your alpha sector. Craft a distress beacon and maybe you'll be able to make contact with a larger ship. Make sure you're ready for anything before you do though. Okay, so we need to make a distress beacon, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and find out how we can make one of those. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be in tools. Distress beacon, there we go. Pixel, silver bar, copper bar, iron bar, wooden planks. So let's start on something we know. That's quite a lot of items, to be honest. I wasn't really expecting that. But let's start just by cutting down this tree here. Um, actually, can we make an axe? It might be a bit quicker. Let's try and make an axe here. Stone axe, okay, we can indeed make an axe. So we made an axe. This should be quicker, cutting down trees. There's an enemy, I need to quit. Okay. gone? I think they've gone. Okay. Oh, that was a lot quicker, actually. That axe is a big help. Let's just put as many trees down as we can if we've got this axe with us. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, so another thing is I have no idea how bed works, because I was sleeping in a bed in my first world, and it didn't seem to alter the time at all, so I'm not sure if you can actually sleep through the night or not. It doesn't appear that you can, though, so it's a bit of a shame. But, um, hey-ho. It's, uh, it's not too bad. And obviously distance improves when you place torches down when it's dark as well, which is nice. Hey, you look evil to me. It didn't even wait for the epic music. Oh, they dropped pixels. Okay, let's go kill his friend then. Because we need pixels for the distress beacon. Let's go kill this guy. There we go. He did quite some damage to us, actually. Let's eat that. Um... I think we might need to make a bed here, because I know that making a bed does actually recover health. Um, so that might be nice. I don't really want to make an iron bed, I just want to make a wooden bed. So let's go ahead and do that. Turn a lot of these into that. Um, and we can make a wooden bed. Where's the wooden bed? Um, wooden door. So yeah, you can make your houses and stuff as well. It's not all just about exploring in this game. You can, of course, make houses. Um, and place some planks down. So, for example, you can just do this. I'm going to make a nice little platform for my bed here. Like so. So now we can place our bed down. And then this will hopefully recover some of our health up. You can see it's doing such so there. And I think the green is the hunger. Um, but I'm not too sure on that one. Don't quote me on that. Once again, taking a drink there. So I'm a bit under the weather, but I really wanted to start recording this for you guys. So, if there's silence every now and then, it probably means I'm taking a drink. And, um... Actually, guys, I think I'm going to leave episode one there. I know we didn't do the entire tutorial, but we got a lot covered. 
Um, should I leave it there, actually? I mean, how much, how much do we need to find? We need to find a lot of copper, don't we? Is that about it? Um, let's just dig down for a bit. See if we can find anything interesting to... Like a bunch of iron or something like that. That'd be nice. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to tell you how rare copper is. I don't think I've ever... No, of course we found copper. We found it like a second ago, Liam. So here we go. Let's just dig down. I know this is like the cardinal rule of Minecraft is never to dig down. But hey, we don't have that limit in the... In this game, because we can pretty much see what's underneath us, which is nice. This guy gonna jump on our heads. Really hope not. Oh, what's this? This looks interesting. Is that just dirt? It's just dirt. <laughs> that looks interesting. No, Liam, it's dirt. It's not interesting at all. So here we go. Um, doesn't look like we're gonna find another iron vein anytime soon, which is unfortunate. Um, anything in the vicinity here? Doesn't look like it. Um, we're going to get lucky. That'd be nice. The tutorial is kind of long, I'm not going to lie. Um, but um, yeah, I, am, I think I am going to call it an episode there, guys. So I hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did look like rating, um, episode one of Starbound was really exciting to record. I really enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it just as much. Let me know if you want to see. Well, that's a good place I need to end it off. <laughs> but yeah, guys, hopefully you did enjoy episode one of uh, Starbound. We'll pretty much be going with episode two as soon as uh, where we leave off here. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy it, leave a like rating. Let me know that you guys really want to see episode two. And um, yeah, guys, next episode we'll be building the distress beacon thingy. And it should be a lot of fun. So thanks for watching, guys. My name's Liam. I'll see you all next time in Starbound. So, see you then, guys. Hey, guys, I'm back. And I decided it wasn't fair to leave you guys without finishing the tutorial. So what I did off camera was I got pretty much everything I need to build the Distress Beacon. Um, the silver was impossible to find. I had to go really deep down. Um, however, I have now have everything I need to build the Distress Beacon. And um, I figured I'd show you guys me building it. And hopefully we can finish the tutorial all in one episode. So let's go ahead and build this Distress Beacon. But pixels, the silver bar, the copper bar, the iron bars, and the wooden planks. So let's go ahead and build it. And now we need to place it down next to our bed. Nicely done, I suggest you get it before placing it. Who knows what will receive your signal. Um, you know, I think we'll be alright. So let's, I'm going to completely ignore the advice of, of the nice quest giver. And um, I'm going to... A stim pack full of blue liquid. I'm going to put that on my hot bar, that sounds cool. Um, let's actually do this. Um, like that. That sounds fine to me. Um, so where do we put it? There it is. Let's go ahead and place this guy down. And there should be no problems at all. Let's go ahead. You can see it's doing its job there. Scary stuff. Hopefully something manages to pick us up. So guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. <laughs> it appears we died. Um, I don't know what happened. What? What? What, what just happened? Let me let me see what happened. Let's go back to our camp and see if anything peculiar is going on. Um, some penguins dropped down and just like laser beamed me. Um, I'm not entirely sure what went on there. To be honest with you guys. Okay, we've got these guys again. The good news is that because it took me so long to find the silver, that um, I've got them pretty decent at fighting things now. They, they, they took it. Oh, please don't tell me I have to go and find some more silver. I think that would kill me. Um, no, you got to be kidding. That's, that really sucks. Um, you know what, guys? I'm pretty sure that was like the last thing we had to do in the tutorial anyway. So what I'm going to do is call it a day there. Kill this guy because I can. And um, say thank you very much for watching the tutorial of um, Starbound. It was, a, it was a lot of fun. And next episode, I'm not sure if we'll be doing some multiplayer stuff or we'll just be doing single player again. Whatever. 
Um, but whatever we decide to do next episode was a lot of fun. Um, this was the tutorial of Starbound, and it was so much fun. Except for getting the silver, the silver's really rare, and it literally took me maybe half an hour to get. But everything else was pretty, pretty fine and dandy. So no worries, no worries there. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy, leave a like rating. It really does help me out a lot, and it lets me know you guys enjoyed the series. So, yeah, have fun, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time in Starbound or Minecraft or whatever you choose to watch. See you guys.